Jason and the Argonauts, the 1963 film, holds a timeless allure for audiences. Its blend of mythology, adventure, and pioneering special effects has etched itself in the memories of many. Have you formed a cherished memory link to this cinematic classic? This cinematic gem is a treasure trove of remarkable elements. From the groundbreaking stop-motion animation by Ray Harryhausen to the epic tale of Jason's quest for the Golden Fleece, the movie's impact resonates across generations. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this film? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Jason and the Argonauts, released in 1963, is a classic adventure film directed by Don Chaffee. The movie draws inspiration from Greek mythology, focusing on Jason's quest to retrieve the legendary Golden Fleece. Accompanied by the crew of the ship Argo, he faces mythical creatures, navigates treacherous waters, and contends with God's interventions, showcasing a blend of heroism, betrayal, and the supernatural. Iconic characters such as Hercules and Medea join Jason, each contributing their unique skills and personalities to the quest. What sets this film apart is its groundbreaking special effects by Ray Harryhausen, notably the stop-motion animation bringing to life the battles with the sword-wielding skeletons, a sequence that remains an enduring hallmark of the film. The impact of Jason and the Argonauts on popular culture is significant, influencing subsequent films and becoming a touchstone for adventure and fantasy storytelling in movies and beyond, resonating through its captivating narrative and imaginative visual effects, a testament to its enduring legacy. Ray Harryhausen, renowned for his groundbreaking effects work, had a deeper involvement in the 1963 film Jason and the Argonauts than just pioneering stop-motion animation. He was instrumental in shaping the film's creative decisions, going beyond his iconic visual effects. Harryhausen's vision extended to the conception of the movie itself, indicating his significant influence on various aspects of this classic adventure. His multifaceted contribution played a pivotal role in crafting the enduring legacy of this cinematic masterpiece. The film Jason and the Argonauts emerged during a shifting era in cinema. Unlike its predecessors, it stood out amidst a genre dominated by Muslim and movies of Italian production. The unconventional casting of Nigel Green as Hercules, deviating from the expected physique, was a significant departure from the norm. This deviation, however, didn't hinder its success. Despite not matching the grand scale of its European counterparts, the movie's intricate special effects, courtesy of Ray Harryhausen, lent it a more lavish appearance. This distinction contributed substantially to its box office triumph, allowing it to secure solo billing in prominent theaters, a rare feat for films of its kind. The unconventional choices and the visual prowess propelled this rendition of the ancient myth into a league of its own, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. The giant Talos puppet in the 1963 movie Jason and the Argonauts stands at a surprising 14 inches tall. Crafted meticulously by Ray Harryhausen, this iconic figure, though small in reality, looms large on screen, a testament to Harryhausen's exceptional skill in stop-motion animation. Interestingly, the liquid depicted as blood, flowing from Talo's foot, is a clever manipulation using red cellophane by Harryhausen, showcasing his innovative techniques. Despite initial struggles at the box office outside of Britain, this film, Harryhausen's personal favorite among the 13 he worked on, has now earned the status of a classic, revered for its groundbreaking effects and enduring storytelling. Bernard Herrmann's score for the 1963 film Jason and the Argonauts is a masterful interweaving of musical elements from his previous works. Known for reusing passages from his earlier compositions, Herrmann incorporated segments from various scores such as the Kentuckian, Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef, Five Fingers, North by Northwest, The Day the Earth Stood Still, and Vertigo into the film's soundtrack. This technique, termed self-borrowing, allowed Herrmann to create a rich and familiar musical tapestry, adding depth and familiarity to the movie's auditory experience. Ray Harryhausen initially envisioned the film as Sinbad in the Age of Muses, drawing from the success of the seventh voyage of Sinbad. He intended to intertwine Sinbad's adventures with Jason's quest for the Golden Fleece in ancient Greece. The fusion of these two iconic narratives could have created an intriguing storyline, 
leveraging the allure of both Sinbad and Greek mythology to craft an epic tale of adventure and mythical quests. This concept showcases Harry Hawson's creative ambition, aiming to merge two beloved themes into a single grand cinematic experience. The idea of amalgamating these renowned legends hints at the depth of Harry Hawson's imaginative storytelling and his desire to expand the boundaries of classical tales on screen, highlighting his innovative approach to narrative adaptation. The Argo, the ship central to the 1963 film, was a remarkable creation. It wasn't just a movie prop, it was built over a fishing boat, powered by three sizable Mercedes engines, consuming about 10% of the film's budget. Fascinatingly, after filming, this ship found a new home in another iconic film, Cleopatra, showcasing its reuse, an impact beyond its initial role in Jason and the Argonauts. Its origins tied to an everyday fishing vessel transformed for the big screen is an intriguing facet. The engineering involved, including the substantial cost of the engines, sheds light on the behind-the-scenes intricacies and practicalities that contributed to the grandeur of this cinematic spectacle. This repurposing of the Argo for Cleopatra highlights the versatility and value of this elaborate creation, extending its legacy beyond its debut in the mythological epic. This article dives into the lesser-known tale behind the Argo's construction and post-film journey, offering a unique perspective on the 1963 movie's tangible contributions to cinema. Originally, Ray Harryhausen animated the skeletons with bits of rotting flesh hanging from their bodies, but the censors thought it was too gruesome so the flesh was removed, and they were clean skeletons. This alteration not only tempered the visual intensity, but also showcased Harryhausen's meticulous attention to detail in his animation. The creative decision made by the censors led to the iconic clean skeleton portrayal, becoming a defining aspect of the film's memorable sequences. Moreover, the skeleton's shields are adorned with designs of other Ray Harryhausen creatures, including an octopus and the head of the Emir from 20 million miles to Earth. This interconnected design element adds a layer of depth to the film, interlinking various creations of Harryhausen's visionary artistry. These meticulous details highlight the interconnectedness of Harry Hawson's creations, creating a fascinating web of his imaginative universe within the film. The alterations and interconnected designs in the skeleton scenes further underline the meticulous craftsmanship and interconnectedness within Ray Harry Hawson's creative vision, contributing significantly to the film's enduring legacy. As we sail away from the mesmerizing tale of Jason and the Argonauts, take a moment to cherish the whispers of your own odyssey stirred by this cinematic marvel. The legacy of this 1963 masterpiece is not merely etched in its cinematic grandeur, but in the resonating chords it strikes within each viewer. Perhaps it unveiled the yearning for adventure, the quest for the extraordinary, or sparked a fascination with the mythic tapestry of ancient tales. Your personal journey alongside Jason and his valiant crew might have kindled thoughts that danced between valor and destiny, forging a link between your experiences and the heroic exploits on screen. Embrace this connection, let it inspire conversations, introspection, or even a newfound appreciation for the timeless allure of myth and storytelling. I invite you to share the treasure trove of your memories, reflections, or newfound perspectives that Jason and the Argonauts have evoked in you. Your thoughts, much like the Golden Fleece, add layers to the enchanting narrative and weave a richer tapestry of this cinematic gem. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic voyage through the lands of myth and legend. Your presence and engagement have cast a new light on this timeless epic. Until our paths cross again, may your own odyssey be as riveting as the tales of Jason and his fearless companions. Thank you for sharing your reflections, and may your memories continue to shine brightly like the stars that guided the Argonauts.